I began having a problem with my heart in 1990, and I felt my heart stop like that. And it's frightening because you don't know if your heart's going to start again. At some point, I decided I better get this checked out because it started what later I found out was AFib. I went to a couple of well-known cardiologists and I read about the procedures and they were very disheartening, to put it mildly. The success rate was approximately 40%. I did a lot of research. Then I hit upon firm ablation. I found the person who I felt would be the best because he invented it. Great to see you. Dr. Sanjeev Narayan. And I said, aha. This is the man. Atrial fibrillation is a really common disorder. It affects about two to five million people in the United States, 30 million worldwide at least. Normal heart rhythm is set by the pacemaker here called the sinus node, and waves spread like ripples on a pond. In AFib, you have something that's very much less organized. We used to think that atrial fibrillation was random and therefore not really something you could map. And what we found was this disorder is caused by localized, organized driving regions. In many patients, the organized central regions were like spinning tops, like rotors, sending off chaos. I've been performing ablations using a new technique we've developed, firm focal impulse and rotor modulation where we put together new catheters, we used sophisticated software. So in Susan's case, we saw rotors in the right and left atria. Some people are surprised to hear that because they very rarely ablate in the right. Nobody was looking there. And it was my understanding that had I gone to the old fashioned procedure, I definitely would still have AFib, for sure, because those three rotors were there on the right side and no one would have seen them or cared about them. The actual ablation time in firm is very short, only about 18 minutes. So we put catheters through the groins, put the basket in, see the map. We then pass the catheter up into the heart to roughly this area. We then identify the area, then we burn over it, typically three centimeters squared, which takes about five to 10 minutes, and that's one rotor gone. Then we do it again, and then when we're done with the right, we cross from right to left atrium and do the same in the left, and then we're done with firm. Susan came back to see us after the case. She was doing very well, and we did our standard follow-up, but we also sent a monitor. Susan actually had one of the new smartphone applications. You put it on the back of your phone, and you just go, and then if I'm in a fib, it says suspected a fib, and I, email it directly to Dr. Narayan's office. Dr. Wong, myself, and the rest of the group like to maintain a very open door policy with our patients and really be there for them all the time. And so I have a lot of my patients sending me tracings daily. And that way we have a good sense of how they're doing. Now, I'm great. I'm really great. I can list 10 physical things that I can do that I could not do before. My endurance is a million times better. I'm happy. Okay, take care. Okay, thank right. you. Thank Keep you. Touch as you will. Okay.